back with another video today um today i want to basically talk about well today's video is going to be about my opinion and to state real facts about fake friendships um i do want to start off by um basically seeing how everybody's doing um making sure you guys subscribe support and share my videos um and also i will like you guys like um don't be afraid to you know comment um about what you want me to talk about or comment challenges you want me to do or whatever you know um i will make a makeup tutorial soon i know i keep saying this but i will most definitely as you can see right now i have gold and dark brown and kind of it was like a copper color too that i put in my crease um this eyeliner that i am using is from elf it's a cream liner and i love cream liners because they're much easier for me to use and um it came out very perfect as you can see and i love my eyebrows i love them i hope you guys love my hair too because i did it too um i am going to be doing my hair in bantu knots because i want to wear my hair curly um for work tomorrow of course um i am going to try to put out more footage three times daily um so i do appreciate everyone who just subscribed to my channel um, I do appreciate people supporting my channel. I do appreciate people sharing also my channel, my videos. I am very blessed and I do appreciate it. I really like thank God too. I thank God for having me still here and having me, you know, basically do, you know, what my heart wants me to do. Um so let's get into the topic that i chose that i will want to talk about um so about fake friendships um i wanted to basically talk about basically because i wanted to address this is basically in general i feel um i feel like i'm not gonna lie to you to you guys and this is straight facts and i'm telling you all honesty no lies no anything um back when i used to be you know i used to be really not like the popular girl in school until i was basically i'll say probably in middle school or high school you know i never really considered myself like you know wanting to be a popular kid like a lot of popular you know people would was wanting to be my friend but i really liked it the weird people i liked it people that kind of fit my entrance they didn't have to be pretty you know what i'm saying like that's that's me you know um in school you know i used to be bullied you know i used to get talked about um i used to have friends i used to you know you know, basically, I used to always be there for my friends that I did have. Um, but now, people see me now and everybody wants to be my friend. Because they see I have a car, they see I work, they, they see my style, they see everything. Because all of this, I'm going to tell you this, I never used to wear makeup. I never did. I never used to dress like this. Never. I always was basically i always like to cover myself up a lot i never really thought i was pretty i never really thought i was beautiful back then you know um i didn't really like my hair back then you know because it was so thin you know i used to think i was bald-headed <laughs> but um now like i look at myself now i look at myself in the mirror each and every day and i have confidence you know i tell myself i'm beautiful each and every day my boyfriend tells me that I'm beautiful each and every day. And it's like, that's basically all that matters to me. You know what I'm saying? God even feels I'm beautiful. You know? Um, 
but I felt like too many people don't use me you know when I got from here to up here like up here a lot of people wanted to be my friends. I didn't never used to have 4,000, almost 5,000 Facebook friends ever. Not many followers on Facebook, not 1,000, not nothing. Not a lot of likes, no anything, no comments, no messages, you know, all of that. I never had all that until now. And I look back, I look back. At the times, people never wanted to pick me up. Nobody wanted to be my friend. Nobody wanted to hang out with me because I didn't have anything. I didn't have money at the time. I didn't even have a car. I hate when my, you know, my hair sticks out. I hate that. But anyways, um, <coughs> y'all get the point. But um, I never, you know, I never had fancy things. I never had all the good things, name brand shoes, Jordans, whatever. I never had that. I didn't even really have a real boyfriend until basically my senior year. You know, even though he was basically, um, and I'm talking about my ex in the past, but he doesn't matter, but I'm just saying. But, like, he was in a lower grade than me. He was basically a junior, basically. But we went to prom and everything and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, you know, like, you know, I really wasn't into guys like that in school. I really wasn't. I was really focused on, you know, getting my work done, graduating, getting all my credits. And I graduated early at age 17. And look at me. I'm 23 right now. I turned 23 this year, July 21st. And, I mean, I could say I'm blessed. You know, I, I'm blessed to be here. Um, But... Like, I've been seeing people, you know, I had to learn the hard way. You know, I was hard-headed. I was stupid. But, you know, everybody, you can't call everybody your friend. Everybody don't have your back. That's bullshit. Nobody does. I don't believe a freaking word anybody say about being a fucking friend. Because I had plenty of friends that used me, talked shit about me. Basically, ne jealous of me, basically. Even though I didn't have shit. You know, people used to tell me, people used to be jealous of me because I was pretty and everything else, you know, even though I didn't have shit, you know what I'm saying? But me, personally, I feel like jealousy shouldn't, shouldn't play no role, to be honest, because me, to this day, I'm blessed to be from here to up here. Like, literally. And I don't brag. I don't do nothing. I don't do none of that. I have a brand new car. That's a 2016. I got a full-time job. Paid well. You know what I'm saying? And I'm doing YouTube, too. Even though I'm not, you know, I haven't, you know, like, basically got into the habit of doing it. But I am doing it now. You know what I'm saying? And I do want to be successful in YouTubing, too. I also want to do modeling. I always wanted to do modeling. Um, I did a little bit here and there, but you know, I want to do it full time. Um, I just feel like everybody, when they see what you got, they end up being jealous of you. And you can't trust nobody because they would do the scandalous shit ever. And you're supposed to be their friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could say this. I am a good friend. Like, if I see my friend need something, need something bad, I will do, I will give my friend. I will actually help my friend. You know what I'm saying? People literally take me for granted, and that's what hurts me the most. And you can't never sit here and say, oh, I fuck with this person heavily. When you know you use them. You know you basically use them. Mess up with their mind. Thought, you know, y'all was cool and tight or whatever. Like, <clears throat> I feel like 
And I might as well address it, you know, since I'm talking to you guys about how I feel about fake friendships. Like, I used to have a friend and still works with me. And the main reason that me and this person was not friends anymore was because I really do not like the fact when you meet somebody new and you don't even know them. You don't even know them. Haven't been there for you. Want to be all up in your business. And you want to act different and act funny. Because they don't really too much care for you. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't fit with your persona. Well. I had a friend. And I seen that. I seen true colors. Been friends since day one. Since in training class. You know what I'm saying? I was happy to sit by this person. Everything. We could talk about anything. Laugh, joke, everything. And this came to this one particular day. Joke, as we usually do. Then say, oh, you just get mad over petty stuff. You know, or you just jealous of this person. Why would I be jealous of someone that you don't even know who can talk shit about you behind your back? Like, really? And we always used to joke. So what is the problem? That's how I felt. Then after that, stop talking. I told this person, I texted this person and told this person how I felt. When they sent me that text, it showed me. They just did not give a fuck. And I, and I truly felt like you was not, you been a fake friend to me the whole damn time. And that's how I felt. The times I've been there for you, the times I gave you good advice, I've been there for you. I've been a real friend. I've been true. I've been honest. I never lied to this person. Never. Here comes, you're trying to make me jealous. This person, okay, to remind y'all guys, this person 50 years old. 50 something years old, okay? The stuff that you're doing trying to make me jealous trying to and here's the killer part you guys and i'm gonna put this out there literally this person talked hella shit about all the people that this person is friends with he talked all and to remind you he is a he he talked all this shit about every fucking body Everybody. And just every time I come into work, I see that. I see that. And I'm like, damn. How pathetic can you be? You made your own self look like an ass, to be honest. And he really is to this day. Making himself look like an ass. You're trying to do that to get to me. There's nothing to be jealous about. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing to be jealous about. Because I was a real friend. I've been there for you. And you do me like this. And this is why I tell everybody. Don't call everybody your friends. Might as well be associates. Because you will know when that person is your friend. You will know that. And, you know, like me personally... Here's like another killer part. People always want me to hang out with them. Always. But this is before before I was in a relationship. People wanted to hang out with me. I never was a party person. I never liked it to go out that much. I had more respect for myself. People always wanted to use me because I had a vehicle. Usually. They do. And that's true facts. They use me because I have a vehicle. Gina, all came in here. He do this. And I'm saying to myself, you ain't a friend. Where's y'all vehicles? Y'all stunting and flossing with these new clothes and these monies, but you ain't gave me nothing. But I helped a lot of people. I did. God gave me that heart to help people. And I did. 
even when they used me and I didn't know it until later and it hit me, oh, I stopped every fucking thing. I stopped being nice. Everybody started calling me a bitch that I'm wrong. But I did a lot of shit for a lot and people never ever gave me shit. And that's a true fact. But I do want to say, the people who was there for you, the people who was there for you, basically, when you was at the bottom, and they're here for you now, them are some real true motherfucking friends. I'm going to tell you that now. Them are the real fucking friends. Friends are not someone who set you up. Friends ain't someone who talks shit about you. Friends ain't someone who be jealous of you because of what you got if they don't got it. That's just how I put it. <coughs> and in this world today, us young people, we think about partying. Partying is not the life. I'm going to tell you that now. It's not. I don't only go out. I come I go to work. I do YouTube. I I have jobs besides going out. You know, I'm trying to work on my dreams. I'm trying to do you know what's best for me. I'm trying to live life to the fullest without anybody fucking it up cuz nobody is. I live because Layla I love that little girl to death. I do. And that's the biggest part of me. And I also, I love my boyfriend so much. I do. He brings me happiness. I love him so much. And I do. And I thank him for everything that he brought into my life. I really do. And it's like, I'm ready. I'm really ready to basically move out you guys and just start a family and be married to him it's like that's all I think about you know like I don't have time for people's foolishness I don't have time for people being fake and in this generation everybody's temporary I feel everybody so all I'm telling you guys, don't think that everybody is your friend because you will know when your true friend is around. And that's just how I feel. And I really thank you guys for watching. And I thank you guys for subscribing and sharing and supporting my channel. I really do. And I appreciate that. Um, I think this will be it for the video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like my makeup, and I really hope you guys like my hair, even though know, the back is always sticking out, <laughs> but it's all good. I have good hair, so it's all good, but um, I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.